Hello. Hi guys. Hello everyone. Um, I'm, I'm here. Uh, coffee cakes right at you. I would, I would say that like I've been gone and I'm back, but I haven't gone anywhere. I just, you know, I work retail. I get tired. Um, the <laughs> pusser. This video. <laughs> I don't know even what to, to call this. I'll, I'm sure I'll think of one eventually. This idea came to me in clearly the most deranged way possible from Tumblr, specifically from my Discord server. Uh, one of my Patreon's uh, users, uh, Nemi Nemesis, they posted a Tumblr page that kind of just led me down a rabbit hole. And I just, I have to talk about this because it's part of my channel's lifeblood. As many of you know, I am a pretty big mark for Barra, um, or bears, or whatever you really want to call it. In a Japanese sense, I suppose it's Barra, considering most of the stuff I talk about on this channel is weeb-based. But like, I've never really done a full video on it, and I want to like lean more into that in the future, because I think it's what my audience wants from me. Um, it's definitely what my TikTok audience wants from me, that's for sure. I came to laugh at you. I could only describe this as we're going to be ranking bears. And but what I mean by that is I have been linked to Tumblr page which is called Tumblr Bear Poll 2023 and um we're just going to do it. <laughs> I have got complete consent by the creator of this poll. Thank you very much whatever your name is. That's literally just the name of the Tumblr so I don't know. Um but thank you very much for compiling this. I have not fully looked at it yet because I kind of want to keep most of it a secret for the reactions of this. I looked at it in terms of like I needed to get the basic kind of like blank poll for the actual video to make it, but we're just going to go through it and find out. I am on to see my husband. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, but yeah, we're here. We're going to rank some bears. We're going to rank some large men. I think it's, I think it's all what we want. Uh, I've got my Slater t-shirt that I stole from a gig once. I got my, uh, pussy. Wanna be the one, yeah, be the one for me. But he ended up loving alcohol more than this pussy. <laughs> and, you know, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna find out who amongst all these men is the best bear. Join me. A truly a visionary, a scholar in this subject at this point of who is the hottest, largest chubby man. <laughs> So we're just going to jump into it, I guess. Um, round one, uh, we got <laughs> Uncle Iroh from Avatar The Last Airbender, and we got Hurley from Lost. <laughs> I, I, I only really know one of these men, like I've seen pictures of Hurley before, and like, yeah, he's hot. I've slept with many men who look like him. Not for the least of just to get free weed. So, what do you want from me? But, I don't know, I've never seen Lost. He also kind of looks like, I don't know, he'd smell like mold a little bit. Especially if he's been on that island for a while. I could not tell you what Lost is about. Uh, I was too busy watching Desperate Housewives as a child. Or like, Ugly Betty. I was not watching Lost. <laughs> um, I, but I guess you gotta give it to Iroh. He's like, he's an icon. He's, he's a legend, he's unbothered, he's moisturized, he's in his own lane. Uh, yeah, give it to Iroh for number one. Uh, round two, we got... Honey, you've got a big storm coming. See, this is why I probably should have done some research on this list. Um, I feel like these are going to get more confusing as we go on. Uh, we got Santa. Just the concept of Santa. And we got Fezzik from the Princess Bride. 
in a long lineage of incredibly hot, even Hollywood concept of bears. Y'all chose Fezzik from B The Princess Bride. You chose Andre the Giant. Is he a bear? I guess. By like basic definitions he is. I don't feel anything towards the man. So I guess I'm gonna have to go Santa. Excuse me. Merry Christmas! Ho ho ho! I promise I'm not a sugar baby. I promise. <laughs> I feel like this list was probably made by someone who doesn't like, isn't particularly clued into like Barra aesthetics or even furry aesthetics to this degree. Because round three is Roadhog from Overwatch and Bomber from The Hobbit. I saw them wasted, having wasted. I don't want to choose either of these men. They're both... Bomber from The Hobbit is... Are, are, do we count dwarves? I don't really find, like, the concept of dwarves from mythology or, like, fantasy particularly hot. It doesn't really do much for me. Um, and, like, Overwatch, you know. We all know there's something wrong there. Like, neither of these men are daddy. Neither of these men are bears. Like, I just... Oh, I'm worried if this is the entire list, because I feel like I'm going to get real sad real quick. <laughs> um, Unfortunately, I'm going to have to say Roadhog. I, I'm i sorry. Uh, oh God, I think I just fucking vomited in my mouth at that point. I had to fucking make an Overwatch pull. You need to be locked in prison for a very long time. Uh, okay, this round. I think I'll run around four. At this point, I'm just going to be saying these. Edit and coffee will, like, make it make sense. Um, King DD from Kirby. And Bob from... Bob Richards from Tekken. That's a good list. That's a good duo. That's actually kind of hard. DDD is such a cutie patootie. He is just a little guy. Well, he's a big guy. Uh, I've always had a soft spot for DDD. He's especially crass in the, uh, Kirby right back at you. He's so good on that. Well, well. I guess we all have a male and a female side to our personality. Huh. Huh? <laughs> uh, gender is a construct. Tear it apart. Um, but like, Bob is really good too. I think I might have to give it to Bob, to be honest. I might have to give it to Bob and like, DDD fans are probably crying right now. And believe me, there's a lot of DDD Barra fans I've seen the art. But, I think the reason why I have to give it to Bob is because he is a quote-unquote, fat character in fighting games, who is never portrayed as a joke. He entirely is his own man. He has a strength level towards himself and is never considered to be, like, he's never overeating. That's always, like, a real issue with, like, fighting game characters. If they're bigger, they're just, they love eating. I'm like, listen, I'm not gonna, like, shame anyone's yucks. Feeding is a thing. Um, but, like, sometimes it can get a bit old... There's a lot of, like, Street Fighter characters who just, like, oh, they're fat, and that's their gimmick. But, like, Bob is an icon. Um, negative points towards Harada for that one time we got Slim Bob. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god! What is that? That was a fucking atrocity. Never do that again. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to give it to Bob. Bob's an icon. Um, Bob is, like, one of those icons that, like... <sighs> We don't talk about enough. I think Bob is so cool. Are you homosexual? A what? I'm homosexual. Okay, so for this round, we got the Heavy from TF2, and we got Birdie from Street Fighter. Birdie from Street Fighter. I know I just made a massive, like, rant about characters that overeat. Birdie's so fucking hot. Birdie is, like, the definition of, like, London Daddy, who, like, is into BDSM and you don't know if you are, but like you meet him on a night out and then like your life is inexplicably changed from like the amount of like weird gay drugs that you take with him. Um, and like you get his phone number, but you're afraid to text it. This just sounds like a fan fiction that I've wrote at this point, but I don't know. I couldn't, that's the thing. I couldn't create that amount of fan fiction for the heavy because what does the heavy have? He, sandwich jokes? Like I feel like, <laughs> I'm probably gonna get hate for this, because, like, I know the Heavy really has fans. Like, 
I've seen a lot of pretty good art of like him and the medic. I'm pretty sure a friend of mine specifically is has that kinship like really down locked. I can't I can't remember who it was. If 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 you remember who you are, shout yourself out in the comments. Um, but yeah, no, it's got to be Birdie. Birdie's hot. Birdie's just a fucking daddy. Like, there's no way around it. They, even the fact that they made him like chubby and overeating and like kind of a joke character in six in five. I mean, he's still fucking hot. So it's got to be for Birdie. I feel like a lot of my choices for these are just going to be like, which character do I want to fuck? Which, let's face it. Oh, okay, this round, definitely. <laughs> so we got Wolfric from Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> we got Asgore <laughs> from Undertale. This is a sketchy one, because on one hand, you have a very large, lovable Pokemon master who, super cute, really good in the anime, He's got, like, a good fit on, always. He's ice-themed, so, like, you know, there's a lot of art with him and, like, that one ice polar bear Pokemon. I've seen it. Um, but then you got Asgore, and there's just something about him. There's just something about that large, child-killing man. <laughs> like, I know it's bad, but, like, I don't feel anything towards those dead children, but when I see him... And I see that goofy smile. I gotta, I gotta go for my boy Asgore. I've gotta like, I've gotta rep for the furries. I've gotta rep for the best theme in all of Undertale. I will fight anyone on that. Um, yeah, unfortunately, child murder goes. Uh, if you're hot, you can still kind of get away with a lot. So it's gonna have to go for Asgore. Oh my god! Don't act shocked. I feel like, I feel like I've already been doing this for like. I don't know, 10 minutes? I'm exhausted. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> so the next round we have Jim Hopper from Stranger Things, and we got Choji Akimichi from Baruto and Naruto. Um, I obviously looked up who Bo Choji is. I don't, I don't care about Naruto, I'm sorry. Uh, the one like of the big three that I watched, um, the one of the big three that I watched was... I really watched a lot of Bleach. Um, I couldn't say anything about it, except the, the first intro fucking slaps. But, like, I don't know. I don't feel anything towards this man. Whereas, like, Stranger Things as, like... The issue with being online, I haven't even watched later seasons of Strange Things. I think I watched the first two seasons. Um, the complete downgrade that the character of Hopper has gotten from season to season after season three is just, just the saddest thing in the world because the peak of bear culture online in present of the last five years, COVID included, has been, has been that man, has been Jim Hopper. You, you doll don't understand. The scenes of him when he took his shirt off, or when he showered, or when he was in the Hawaiian shirt, it was feral on Bear Twitter. There was no way of getting past this man. And like, I don't feel anything towards Stranger Things, but when I see that man shirtless, I feel like a dog barking in heat. Don't be afraid to hit that block button. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, if I haven't already, like, turned off more than half of my audience by how pathetic I am by talking about this, it's obviously Jim Hopper. Like, I... That man's mustache, it just... Daddy. 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 I heard that story. Did you hear the one about the fat man with the beard who climbs down chimneys? Ho, ho, ho! Right. Round six? No. Round eight? Who cares? I wish Pussy would fucking sponsor me at this point. Like, that would be a pretty good get. I've talked about this a few times to friends. If I don't get an Adam and Eve sponsorship at some point in my YouTube career, I think I may as well just give up. Again, we have Doc Ock from Spider-Man 2, I guess. Specifically that one, because I remember him like having his shirt off at one point. And Tobajorn Lindholm from Overwatch. 
<laughs> so. You know what, I've made a critical decision. Um, if there is any point in this video where I don't care about either characters, I'm just gonna replace them with someone else. Um, congratulations to the winner of this round, Blue, from the Jungle Book. Uh, you were my first furry crush, you're one of the most important characters to me, period. Um, your smile basically uh, lights up a fever in my heart. Um, doki doki doki. <laughs> Why do people watch me? Ooh, this is a hard one. See, that's the thing. This is a good list. It's just some of the rounds are nothing. Like, some of them are just gimmies. Um, yeah, no. Greg Universe from Steven Universe versus Obelisk from Asterix. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh, this is my Sophie's choice. <laughs> um, can I veto Boat and have Boat? I don't think that's fair. I think the only way to really give this any credence is the fact that I am going to get a tattoo of Obelisk, and I don't think I would of Steven, I mean of Greg. Greg is hot. Like, Greg is the definition of, like, cartoon daddy. And he's not even, like, hot in a sexy way, he's just, like, hot in a way that is endearing in every way possible. Um, oh yeah, this is, by the way, this, this channel is a Steven Universe, like, friendly zone. Um, if, if Steven Universe fans come in here at some point, I'm gonna have to, like, get a ban hammer or something, because y'all don't behave. Um, but yeah, no, as hot as Greg is, and, like, I kind of based my first iteration of my persona off him. Uh, here it is. I know, it's ugly. Um, I'm gonna have to go for Obelisk, because, like, Obelisk was one of those characters from my childhood that has just kind of reigned into my adult depravity. Uh, he's absolutely gonna get a tattoo at some point. I'm kind of like gonna get every queer themed European cartoon tattooed on me at some point. I'll do a tattoo tour someday, maybe. Um, yeah, it's gotta be Obelisk. He's an icon. He's a. a I love a giant bottom. <laughs> uh, another bad choice. Um, we got Daryl Wilson from Dungeons and Daddies. Like where do you where where is this person picking these these characters? What is that? Does anyone know what that is? If someone in this audience knows what Dungeons and Daddies is, please tell me. And like I don't know what Dungeons and Daddies is. This character looks like a man who has a beard. Versus Stock the Vast from How to Train Your Dragon. I guess Stock. I don't Stoic. I don't I don't care who that man is. I've seen like three of those films and could not tell you a single thing. I've seen more porn of any of those characters is the dragon, probably? But that's just the side of the internet I've been on, so. Um, should I veto this and give it to someone else? Can I think of anyone else who deserves this? Oh yeah, I've looked through this list. Ganondorf isn't on this list, by the way. Like this it. is your man. Yes. Look at the screen. That's mine. Uh, I mean, obviously, like, if you follow me on Twitter, you've seen how utterly feral I went when we saw pictures of rehydrated uh, Ganon from Tears of a Kingdom. So I'm gonna give this this part to Ganon, because he just deserves it. He's, he's kind of like, he's important right now, everyone's talking about him. If I don't put him in the search algorithm, he, this video probably won't do as well, so yeah, let's give it to Ganon. One of our interns here, uh, she said that you make music for gays. I do. Next up, we got Bob Belcher from Bob's Burgers versus Watson from Pokemon Omega Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, I don't know who Watson is. I've looked up his design. He's like a little guy. He looks more like a Mega Man character than anything. But like, I don't think you can really compete against the sheer sexual like power of Bob Belcher. He's like, one of the most charming bisexual characters ever written. Ah, oh God, this feels so great! I suggest, sorry, I, I gotta go cook this. Also, I'm married, but if I wasn't, who am I kidding? You're out of my league. It would never work. Um, he's just, he, that show is just a joy to go through. Um, I really have nothing but good things to say about Bob Burgers. It's, it's one of those shows that's just kind of consistent. And, like, Bob is great, he's cute, he's sweet. The voice actor does a great job. Uh, he's unnecessarily funny. It's just just a great guy all around. I think I think he'll probably go out pretty early in this list. But like, good for Bob. I don't know who Watson is. 
It's like the time you took away the credit card from me when I was ordering all those porcelain babies. If you're not real, then how come I feel this way? Little babies. Come here. Come here. Oh, little baby. We're gonna have to like speed run these soon. Uh, the next one is Ralph from Rep Ralph versus Professor Birch. That's a no. I, it's not, come on, it's Birch. Come on. Like if you're on the internet and you choose fucking Ralph, really? Like Ralph's cute, but like Birch is like a bar, bar icon. I've seen more art of Birch than like anyone else from Pokemon as a Barra character. He's like the one, except now that Neroli is out, but like when Neroli was announced, every single pairing I saw of Neroli was him and Birch. Because the just the idea of seeing Neroli and not realizing that him and Birch are probably like some kind of LA bear couple who like probably have a really successful OnlyFans account. And like I probably follow it, but I don't tell anyone about it. Um, yeah, it's up for Birch. Congratulations, Birch, you won. But if I know Professor Birch, I'll bet he's doing research while he's playing. Correct, Professor? <laughs> well, actually, I was just playing. Oh. I'm just playing. I'm playing. Next, we got Laszlo Cravensworth from What We Do in the Shadows versus Jinbei from One Piece. Now, yeah, I should probably be less um, rude. Uh, Laszlo, I know, is by the, the 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 person who like performs that is Matt Berry, um, who is a fucking ride. So I think I might have to give it to him. Is Jimbei a One Piece spoiler? I don't know at this point. Should I text them? Should I ask him at this? I I don't know. Uh, I'll give it. I'll give it to. I'll give it to Laszlo. I'll give it to Matt Berry because it's Matt Berry. I'm. I'm already exhausted. I didn't realize One Piece was going to show up on this list. I'm, I need something to like take the edge off. I'm going to go have a bath. Yeah, we're doing this. Uh, in the video I got this, this was like... It was like a Lush collaboration a while ago. I never used it because I planned to that One Piece video that never happened, so... Is it? Is that it? It just makes it just pisses, and that's it. <laughs> what? I don't believe this. Okay, so apparently it's not supposed to do that. Uh, apparently it's a bubble bar. After checking Google, I don't know what that is. So we're gonna we're gonna learn about this together. Why is it? Why is it? Why is it just there? <laughs> just leaking. Is this what Luffy does? Damn, is this what Luffy does? You know, sometimes I look at like, the amount of power that I've been given on this channel, and I question if I should have it, but it's, to be fair, if ContraPoints is allowed to do this, I'm allowed to do this. I'm just less easy to cancel and I don't have as much money. Hello everyone, welcome to the first inaugural bathtub stream. <laughs> welcome to the most apropos part of a bear video, a bathtub section, where I talk about my Patreon. <laughs> um, I usually don't like my mic in frame, but this is literally impossible. You don't understand how difficult this was to even set up. I, what was that? Okay. James. I want to thank everyone who has supported the channel already. It is very funny to try and be sincere while I've got my leggies flapping about in what I could only describe as Luffy's piss water. You do not want to see what is going on below deck. Well, some of you do. I'll get to TikTok in a second. Um, yeah, so... <sighs> Patreon's difficult. Uh, YouTube is difficult. I don't really know how to consistently make it consistent. This video was an attempt because, I don't know, it's easier to produce. The idle video really, really, really took me out. Like, I don't think he's realized how much time I put into that thing, but it, it ruined me mentally. Um, I want to keep things a bit easier, and I also want to focus more on Barra, because I feel like it's what my lifeblood is, and I feel like it's what you people want to see, which is why I'm sure. <laughs> um, other than that, like, Please join my Patreon if you want me to continue living 
and also maybe not have to do this as much. Or if you do want to see this more, let me know on Patreon. Uh, Patreon for dot com slash coffee cakes, whatever the hell the URL is. It's on screen now. As well as on screen now, you can see all of the Patreon faces of people who have subbed to me. They give me money, and I draw their little faces over my tits, apparently. Um, as well as that, uh, I want to thank everyone who has recently commissioned me. I do a bunch of little cute drawings of characters, mostly furry stuff, but like, I'll draw anything. I'll draw penises, I don't really care at this point. Um, speaking of low self-esteem, me and my friend Demenzigate have a podcast! <laughs> It's called Happy Campers. It's about camp movies, it's about the 90s, it's about specifically movies made pre-9-11. No, 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 no. Well, you don't want to hear about 9-11. But we'll probably change that at some point. Um, and it's about a good time. Me and my friend Dem, um, we've been friends for years, so like, it's basically just a podcast where we talk about nothing. Uh, it's a fun time. It's a fun time. But yeah, other than that, what else can I say? Please subscribe to that channel. We promise that the second episode will be up soon. We promise. Going forward, videos are gonna be... Not gonna be different, they're still gonna be as edited the same amount. I've got one video coming up that's kind of like a collaboration with a few friends of mine. And it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a bit different to this, clearly. But after that, I'm probably gonna lean more into the Barra stuff. Because... You all seem to care about it. Uh, as well as that, as caring about Barra stuff, uh, I have a TikTok. I am shirtless on it 80% of the time. If you want to see more of this, go over to TikTok forward slash coffee cakes or whatever the hell the name is. Again, it's on the screen. I don't really care at this point. I'm in a bash filled with Luffy's piss. <laughs> I do wonder like me as like a fresh faced little college kid was gonna like think this is where I was gonna end up. To be fair, I've made more money off of YouTube than I ever did off my college degree, so what does that tell you? But yes, thank you very much to all the Patreons, thank you very much to everyone who subbed, uh, all of your comments are really sweet. Pretty much like, everyone who watched the idol video loved it, and that really really made me happy. But uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think, I think this Patreon bit is probably overstayed its welcome, as of these. <laughs> Yeah, I'll let you get back to the video. I'm probably just gonna stew more on this for a while. If I had an OnlyFans, this would be like another part of the video, but I don't know, I haven't gotten to that point yet. Let me know if you just want it. <laughs> Alright, so we're back after that uh, interlude, I suppose. Probably a little too early because we have way too many of these to go, but once again, we're just gonna speed through these because this is taking too long. Uh, we got Sig Curtis from Full Metal Alchemist versus Tony Soprano! <laughs> I'm feeling good because today is my birthday! What? Tony Soprano? Who else is gonna be on this list? That is a, that's a fucking jump scare at this point, if anything. Um, like, I, I, I understand it. If I saw Tony Soprano in a sauna, I'd absolutely be on that in a second, but like, what a choice. What a choice of characters to pick. I I'm almost gonna have to pick him, just out of pure respect, but Sig is like a bear icon at this point, so he kinda has to go through it. But like, honestly, props to you for choosing Tony, that's kind of- a that's excellent. <laughs> Next we got... Beetlejuice versus Dwalin the Hobbit. It's too much. Give my pocketbook, I'm leaving. Again, hobbits. Weird choice. Uh, is there anyone else I can veto out? I'm gonna assume Gumshoe was on this list, he better be. We all know this is- you know what, let's just make Schlugenschlag, the Ikea bear, the winner of this one, because he has more cultural impact than either of these two characters. Like, I even saw on the, the page that, like, apparently there's a a more bearish version of Beetlejuice from like the Beetlejuice musical, I want to say. And I've looked at pictures of him, he's really cute, if I saw him in a bar I'd absolutely go up to him. But like, Dwalin from The Hobbit? Oh, big. So for this one we got Dr. Eggman, and we got Theobald Gum Bear from D20 Crown of Candy. 
I don't know who that is, so it's gonna be Eggman. People who... There's, like, a lot of discourse online that Eggman isn't a bear. Uh, y'all are cowards. Um, any bear fan or any bear fan who doesn't understand that Eggman is peak daddy, just... there. You You need to open your eyes. Uh, I'd suck on that egg. <laughs> Get a load of this! <laughs> Next we got the... Truly the match of the two internet middle-aged men, which are Stanley Grunkle Stan Pines from Gravity Falls versus Rick Mitchell from The Mitchells versus The Machines. I haven't seen either of these. Weirdly enough, I probably should have seen Gravity Falls by now, but like, it just didn't, it, it passed me by. I haven't seen The Mitchells either, but I have seen enough porn of Rick Mitchell to stan him at this point. So I'm gonna give it up for Rick. Sorry, uh, sorry, Crunkle fans or whatever. Denial is a river in Egypt. Your <laughs> husband is gay. Uh, next we got Sully from Monsters Inc. versus Doesn't Fucking Matter. Absolute icon, a true bear for the culture. One of the peak of bear culture. He is the blueprint for every single like monster design or like a uh, large furry scale design he was the peak of it he was the icon he was the only one we wanted the fact that even the creators of monsters inc saw that character's success and was like no no we're gonna one up it in the prequel we're gonna make him a jock <laughs> they know what we want uh sorry to that pokemon guy he did look cute but nah nah it's sully you're trespassing on my property you didn't win shit. My yard. Wait, wait, wait. I, all of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? Uh, sir, I that genuinely nearly gave me a shudder. George Costanza from Seinfeld versus Ice Bear from We Bear Bears. What is this list? What is this a prank? Is this a joke? I actually, I'm genuinely concerned at this point because this is getting more and more confusing as I go on. Um, George stands it from Seinfeld. I've never watched Seinfeld. I've like watched episodes of it at a college dorm room area, stoned out of my head, and found every joke not really particularly engaging. So I'm gonna guess I'm gonna have to give it up for Ice Bear because he's cute. I don't know. I, who else is going to be on this list? Holy shit! Speak of the devil. So we got Brian Harding from Dream Daddy versus Sig Meyer of Katarina, the Onion Knight from Dark Souls. That's iconic. That, you know what? As, as absolute corporate mandated design that Brian Hard Harding is for my appeal. As a character who may as well have been created in a lab to appeal to me. It was so homogenous that it was almost a turn off for everything that I wanted. So I'm going to have to give it to the Onion Knight. That is, that is fucking slay. Oh my god. Fucking, what an icon. There he is. There he is. There's my boy. Uh, we got Dick Gumshoe from Ace Attorney versus Bluto from Brutus from Popeye. <laughs> Um, come on, come on, come on, come on now, come on now, that's not fair, that's, you could have put him against anyone, you could have put, put him against Ganondorf, you could have put him against Bowser, he was gonna win, and I know he's gonna win this list, like, they're just not doing it, like Dip Gumshoe, he's sweet, he's dependable, he's cute, he just absolutely has a massive hog, he, <laughs> look at this freshly oiled hog, he, he's there for you, he's got the best theme in the entire game, um, just, he's perfect. There's nothing more perfect than Dim Duckum. Oh, what are you, oh, my land. <laughs> I'm getting flustered talking about him, he's that cute. Uh, Dick Gumshoe, just, a uh, hundred percent. Hello? I love you. Uh, we got Maui. We got Maui. <laughs> we got The Rock versus Sam from Sam and Max. It's gonna be Sam. Bye. Do you, you, you remember y'all seen that fucking. that they're remaking uh, Maui? <laughs> they're remaking Maui, yeah. 
No, they're remaking, um... What is that movie called? Moana. Yeah, they're remaking that, just because, like, The Rock wants, like, a movie for his kids to see again. Which is so... I don't know, I hate Disney so much. Yeah, it's gonna be Sam. Sam's... Come on, it's Sam. He's he's an icon. He's he's suave. He's daddy. Like, he's got that... He's got that hat. He's got that style. He's got that, like, southern trawl. Uh, he's got, like, the most endearing, like, marriage with his friend Max. Friend Max, lover, sorry. I don't wanna... I don't want to Disneyify this too much. Yeah, no, it's it's Sam, 100%. If I could almost just like put Max in there as well, like they're they're a duo. Max doesn't even like girls. They're a nuisance at best. Hasn't been interested since. Well, when did that start exactly? I think it all goes back to that time we were. No flashback. Mm, okay. Well, it's been ever since junior high. Uh, Bill from The Last of Us versus Varric Tatarus from Dragon Age. I don't really know who either of these men are, because I'm not a streamer from the 2006, like, YouTube era. I think I might have to give it to Bill, because I recently saw from, like, that show adaptation of Last of Us that everyone kept talking about, that he's gay and hot. So, congratulations, Bill. Um, if, if I had thought of any other bear character to swap you out of, I would have, but you made it through. Congratulations. Eight spices? Hmm, some must be doubles. Or a gano. What the hell? Um, this next one I might skip. Because it's Gimli versus Smokey the Bear. And I don't really have either opinions on either of them. Gimli, once again, I don't know why this fucking creator has such a dwarf fetish. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Smokey, I guess. Barry Burton isn't on this list. I'm going to put Barry there instead. Just take a look at this. Harrier ha Harry Dubois from Disco Elysium versus Samwar Tarly from Game of Thrones. I neither. I I don't know. I guess I'll say Harry because of like socialism and like you know, Disco Elysium seems cool. I don't. I don't. I watched Game of Thrones. I couldn't tell you anything about Sam. Good for you, Harry. You made it true. Tell you what I do. Ash, I go and check out some basic facts about your hero Obama. He's not my hero. I'm how a communist, heroic he comes you idiot. Across. <laughs> you didn't plan any protests against him, did you? Frank Reynolds from Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I can't. Get out. I just... What is this? What is this list? I... Frank from Always Sunny is a bear now, huh? I... This isn't what Bowser stood for. This isn't what Gengoro Tagami spent a majority of his 20s creating manga that no one read for Frank from Always Sunny in Philadelphia to be on this list. This is a joke. This has to be a joke. I guess I'd have to give it to Vander from Arcane because he's the one he's going against. Uh, you know what? Gengoro Tagami or any of Gengoro's characters that he's created but Gengoro as a, ca as a person, congratulations. You've made it past this list because apparently Frank Reynolds counts as a bear these days. Has the world gone mad? Or have I? I'm genuinely getting offended. <laughs> like, I don't understand. The next one is Robert or Bobby Singer from Supernatural versus Long John Silver from Treasure Planet. Is Bowser on? Ba Bowser has to be on this list. Let's face it, but like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand where this is going. I don't care about any of these games. I don't know. Bob looks like a guy that I would, like, hook up with and, like, not really think twice about because he was, like, fine. And Long John Silver is... Well... I don't know. That Disney movie was cool. It looked cool, but, like, I don't remember anything about Long John Silver from it. I remember he was big, sure. But, like, um... I'm gonna give this round to Tom Nook. Yeah, the, the longer this video is going on, the more I'm just, like, kind of perplexed by this list. And, like, maybe modern bear culture in general. Because, like, you guys need to read more Barra. 
Um, you, you put Senshi from Dungeon Meishi versus Martin Blackwood from the Magus Archives. I don't listen to podcasts. It's not 2013 anymore. <laughs> I've got better things to be doing than listening to alt gamer podcasts that create fiction. It's not Night Vale anymore. We're past this. I'm surprised that the, the, the book Carlos from Night Vale isn't on this list at this point. I'm gonna give this round to Zangief, because, yeah. Uh, Nandor the Relentless from What We Do in the Shadows versus Eddie Valiant. <laughs> Fucking finally. Some, finally some good fucking food. Um, Eddie Valiant, from Who Friend Roger Rabbit, was a cultural reset. <laughs> the things that that man, like, it's not even Eddie Valiant specifically, it's just Bob Hoskins. I think I've said multiple times on this channel or like on Twitter or just online in general, I had the biggest crush on Bob Hoskins. He was such a ride. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know if it's like fair to say like he was my like all time real person crush, but like he's up there for sure. Do you guys remember when Bob Hoskins also like even comparatively like obviously people reference like the Mario movie? Do you guys remember when he was in Spice World? Equalization between the sexes. Hmm. What the hell was that? Yeah, that was that was something. Um, yeah, Bob. Of course. I don't know who Nan the Relentless. I haven't watched What We Do in the Shadows. It seems like a cute show. Um, I just I haven't seen it. I don't watch TV. Just name your price, and I'll pay it. Yeah, I bet you would. You gotta have the rabbits to make the scam work. Oh. Next is Angus Delaney from Night in the Woods versus a character I don't know. It's gonna be for Angus, baby. Uh, yeah, this person listens to podcasts. Wario versus Ned Chicane from the Adventure Time Amnesty. <laughs> oh, I'm not ashamed to admit it. It's hell in there. It's horror. You have to be a certain type of person to survive that. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, we're doing McElroy Brothers content. <laughs> I feel like this, the creator of this, uh, I feel like the creator of this Tumblr is going to, like, see this as bullying. I hope they don't. Um, because this is all, this is, these are purely my opinions. Um, it's gonna be Wario. I, I listened to most of Amnesty and it was the reason why I stopped listening to the McElroy Brothers, to be honest. You wanna know what? No, I am gonna leave. <laughs> And the last of the entire of the right row is Bowser from Mario, our boy, our icon, our legend, the boy. And we got Mr. Coco from Splatoon. I actually like Mr. Coco quite a bit. He's, he's cute. You can't, you got nothing. You got nothing on the boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's Bows. I like, listen. That new Mario movie was fine, but like he, even Jack Black portraying Bowser, anyone portraying Bowser, he, I just want to give him a hug. Like he's just a perfect design. He's just a perfect guy. Um, it's gonna be Bowser. Bowser's probably gonna go high up on this list, to be honest. Like he is. If I was to describe any like video game prestige characters as like the epitome of Barra or Bears, it's it's him. It's a hundred percent him. Were you excited to play Bowser? Uh, yeah. A flat, I think they call it a flat earther. Anyway. Okay, so this has taken too long. A hundred percent. Um, so we're gonna have to like speed this up in the next rounds. Should we speed it up a little bit? So we have finished up the general rankings. Now we have to go through who won from each round. Blah, 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 blah. Y'all seen Yu-Gi-Oh! Y'all seen Pokemon, you know how ranking works. So let's go from the beginning once again. We got... 
Um, Roadhog versus Uncle Iroh. Gotta give it to Iroh. We got Santa Claus versus Bob. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Bob. Sorry, Santi. Next, we got Birdie versus Asgore. Ooh, that's hard. Ooh, I don't like that. Ooh, this is this is hard. Um, Birdie versus Asgore. Let me think. Uh, Birdie's got the sex appeal down, like, out of the two of them. He's the hotter one? But is he? Because Asgore is, like, pretty cute. Ooh, I don't know. Um, Birdie versus Asgore. I think if I'm gonna, like, follow this by, like, who's more important to me, but also bear culture in general, I'm gonna say Asgore, to be honest. Because I think Asgore, like, has more to do... I've seen more art of him, I've seen more general fan love of him, even though he's killed children. <laughs> even though he's a child killer. Uh, he's he's still up there, so I'll give it to Asgore. Good for you. Um, Mr. Fluffy wins. This is what a cornfield looks like, honey. Let's see, next was the Dr. Octopus and Tobishore one. I believe I gave that to Ganondorf. No, I gave that to Blue. Uh, yeah, Blue versus Jim, Hopper, and Shoji. That's going to be Blue. Sorry, Jim. Um, Jim is... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> no, come on. You can't do that to Blue. Yeah, no, it's Blue. It's Blue. Um... David Arbor, if you ever want to, like, leave Lily Allen, <laughs> just send me a message, because, like, I... the things I'd do. <laughs> next, we got Obelisk versus... Uh, I want to say the next person I added in was Barry? No, it was Ganondorf. So, Ganondorf versus Obelisk? I don't know, that's... Ooh. They're two different types. They're two different types of bear, like... Ganondorf is the one that I call daddy, and, like, Obelisk is, like, the one that I hang out with and get stoned with. But still probably, you know. Um... My heart of heart says Ganondorf. It's gonna be Ganon. Sorry, Obelisk. Bob Belcher versus Professor Birch. Gonna give that to Birch. And uh, next one is Matt Berry versus Sig Curtis. Uh, I'll give it to Matt Berry. Like, I'm not even saying it's Laszlo, because again, I haven't seen this show, but it's Matt Berry. Like, Matt Berry is one of the most handsome men on television. If... There's a chance that some of you don't know who this man is, if you haven't watched What We Do In The Shadows. He's also in the IT crowd, but like, he's also been on like a lot of British television. So like, I've obviously seen him a lot. He has a weird thing that he does with his voice, where it's very like, operatic. When I'd got in there, I realised that actually, this is serious stuff. But um, it's so charming. <laughs> like, he's just... If I was to, like, actually consider dating any of these men, he's up there, um, as is Jim Hopper. I love that he, I'm using his fake name. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's gonna be him. And then we got... I still love that Tony Soprano is on this list. That's so funny. Like, that's the funniest thing in this video, I'm sorry. Big boobs? What? Um, ciao. Anyway, so... Uh, next character that we opted in, I believe, was Barry Burton. Um, so Barry Burton versus Eggman? Ooh, that's hard. I'll give it to Barry. Barry Burton, for sure. Um, he's a dad, he's a daddy, he's an icon, he's a legend. Uh, the original, like... Oh. I, uh, most of this video is just going to be me ranting about how much I love large men, but what's new? <laughs> but um, the original like actor they got to do like the intro for Resi 1, he is so cute. Like there's like footage of him in the background, like doing like back like background shots. He's just, he's the perfect man. As is Barry, to be honest. Barry in general, every iteration of Barry I've always loved. Um, I'm pretty sad that he's not going to show up in that uh, Dead Island movie, because I feel like he deserves it. But it's main, it's the protagonist, so it's fine. All right, so we've done that. Uh, the next ones, we got Rick Mitchell versus uh, 
Sully. Uh, it'll be Sully. We got <laughs> we got Onion Knight versus Ice Bear. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna give it to Onion Knight just just for the sheer meme of it. Uh, Dick Gumshoe versus uh, Bill from The Last of Us. It's gonna be Dick. Oh dear! Oh dear! <laughs> Oh my god! Daniel is here! Leave me alone! Ah! So I fixed it. I know where we are. Uh, apologies for that stupid interval. I don't know what I'll put there. We'll find- you'll- you know. Um, Harry Dubois, Henry versus Gengoro Tagami. Tagami obviously wins. Uh, I- the characters that were there, it was Frank Reynolds. <laughs> Do you remember that part of the video? This feels- this legitimately feels like one of the longest things I've ever filmed. And it's not even been an hour. I'm just exhausted. <laughs> um, yeah, and then we had blah, 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 Bobby Singer, John Longsilver, I supplemented them in for Zangief. And they were up against someone else, can't remember, don't care, Zangief won. Uh, Eddie Valiant versus Angus. It's gonna obviously be Eddie, cause Bob Hoskins, baby. Yeah, it's gonna be Eddie Valiant for that one. Um, like Angus is great. Don't get me wrong. I've played Night in the Woods once. Um, but we gotta be splitting hairs at this point. This video is too long. It's, it's Eddie. Come on. Um, I've had more fantasies about that man than any other human being. Rest in peace. <laughs> um. And then we got fucking Wario vs. Bowser. I love Wario. I think he's an icon. I am co trying to collect every Wario game that has ever released. Uh, it doesn't matter because it's Bowser who's going to win that one. Um, speaking of Wario, you, you, have you fucking have you watched that Gino video about Wario Land 4? I, th I feel like it's been linked everywhere, but I'm just going to link it here because that video is important. You should all watch it. it got me to play Wario Land 4. This video is becoming less about bears, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, so now we're at the point where we have to have the good bears against the other good bears. So this is where it's going to get actually difficult. This is going to get to the point where, like, if I was in a bar and I was to see- that, This is how I'm going to be ranking this from now on. I'm in a bar. I'm in an eagle somewhere. I see these characters in, like, leather daddy outfits. Who am I going to go towards? <laughs> so just paint that picture for yourself. Uh, if someone wants to create fan art of that, please do. But uh, we have to go from here. Um, so Iroh from Avatar versus Bob. Bob, that's that's a no-brainer. Asgore versus Baloo. That's hard. Baloo. What else? We got Ganon versus Birch. Oof. Um, if, again, if we're going off of the criteria and the scenario that I described, I'm gonna go towards Ganon over Birch. I am a bottom. I'm sorry. I think Birch also is. <laughs> we got Matt Berry versus Barry Burton. That's a weird duo. If I was to see either of those two people in a <laughs> eagle, I'd be very confused. But... Hmm... I don't know. Barry Burton. No. Oh, this is a hard one. No, it's probably Matt. Yeah, it's, it's Matt Berry. Oh, my brain just thought of Matt Berry in like a letter daddy outfit. That's gonna, that's gonna be for later. Think, think about that coffee. I'm out of pussy. It's a shame. I also specifically here have a matching bottle of poppers to the pussy. Welcome to my channel, folks. Sully versus Onion Knight. It's gotta be Sully. That's... Come on. That's a no-brainer. Like, oh, the, the meme of the Onion Knight can only bring him so far to this list. At some point, he has to be gutted. Uh, Gumshoe versus Barry Burton. That's gonna be Gumshoe. I love you, Barry, but like... It's not. It's not gonna go that far for you against my, my boy. Oh my good gay girly god. Uh, Kangoro Jigami versus Zan Geef. I would watch that in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, no, if I could, if I walked into an eagle and I saw that fight, me in between right now, um, that's hard. I, I, I'm probably gonna have to go for Zangief because, like, I've got more emotional attachment towards him as a character. Whereas, like, 
Gami is important for what he is. Well, this is a hard one, because, like, who am I supposed to go against? The creator and, like, granddaddy of Barra? Or the character that has defined Barra to me for over two decades? It's hard. Hmm. If, okay. Again, back to the scenario. I've walked in. I'm incredibly drunk. Um, I'm not wearing much clothes. I see two of these men. Who am I going towards? Thank you. Sorry, sorry, Scanny. I love you. You'll be in a video someday. Well, not literally. We got Eddie Valiant versus Barzer. That's... <sighs> I said Sophie's Choice earlier, but... <laughs> I think... Out of pure respect for the algorithm, putting Bowser in the thumbnail will do better. <laughs> so I guess I'll have to say Bowser. No, even then, it's still Bowser, come on. It has to be the boy. So I am now going to tally up the results of these. Give me one second. General Bison, he's a bad guy. So this is the point where this video may as well have just started. Um, but we basically at this point have to go through the best of the best. Um, God, I, I, I know I'm just going to pick the ones I like. <laughs> I know I'm just going to pick the ones that have meant the world to me over the years. But we have, first of all, Bob versus Baloo. Um, it'll be Baloo. It'll be Baloo. Like, I love Tekken. I love Bob. I think Bob is probably my favorite Barra character from Tekken. I do, I do love King, but, like, King is something else. Um, but it's Baloo. Like, Bear Necessities is, like, I could put Bear Necessities on and it, I'm having a panic attack and it would immediately calm me down. Um, yeah, it's Baloo. Come on. He's, he's a perfect being. Ganon versus Matt Berry. It's probably gonna be Ganondorf purely because we are in Tears of the Kingdom mode. And once again, just hooting and hollering at that man's pecs. Uh. Sully versus Gumshoe. That's hard. Like I am right now. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh boy. Oh, daddy. Um. Coffee. You know the answer to this already. It's it's Gumshoe. You can pretend as much as you want. You can do as much fake drama to create this video's length. Which is already too long to begin with, but it's it's Gumshoe. Come on. Na, 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 na. I why don't I have a Gumshoe plush? Oh, because no one cares. Because there isn't a Gumshoe plush. Like who is making that? Maybe on Etsy. If someone could find me a Gumshoe plush, please buy it for me and then send it to me. <laughs> and then we got Zangief versus Bowser. Uh ooh, that's actually a lot harder than I thought it would be. Because like Zangief is. Am I seriously gonna get rid of Bowser? Bowser's great, but like, Zangief is like, I buy entire video games for him. I'm gonna say Zangief. I'm sorry, Bowser, but like, apparently you don't matter to me as much as I thought. Like, I have multiple plushes of this guy, and I don't have a single one of Zangief, so like, how is that fair to Bowser as like a character that I am choosing the Large, hairy, sweaty, hot, daddy, sangi. Yeah, it's sangi. Sorry, Bowser. So we got Baloo versus Ganondorf. I feel like I'm on like Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, but there's no money up for grabs. It's just my hole. Ooh. Ooh, it's genuinely quite stressful. Oh, no. Ooh, it's genuinely quite stressful. <laughs> <laughs> um, shit. Shit. Um, like, Blue, these are two different types of characters. Like, there are two separations of Bear or Daddy. Yeah, that's the thing, like, Blue is, is Blue Daddy? But this is a Bear list. It doesn't inherently mean daddy. And if I was to give it to the two of them, who is more bear-like? 
I would say blue. So by that logic, <laughs> yes, we're calling it logic, I would say it would have to be blue. Damn, that was hard. Okay, sorry, sorry, Ganon. I know you're more marketable right now, but I gotta go for my boy. Gumshoe versus Zangief. That is where I live. That is the two most important bear characters to me in media of all time. These are the, if I was to really like break down my brain, it is these two inside it at all times. And I don't know if I can necessarily list one. I know it is going to be Gumshoe, let's face it, but we just kind of have to give some respect for Zangief at this point. Because, like, he deserves some respect on his name. Um, Zangief is a hero to all. He is an icon. He is a legend, a star. She's got a point. She's an icon. She's a legend, and she is the moment. Now, come on now. He is the main reason I'm buying. Nah, he's not the right main reason I'm buying Street Fighter 6. That game looks like excellent to begin with. But like, when I see Zangief announced for something, I know I'm gonna get it either way. I'm like, he's got such great lore moments, and like, his relationship with Armik is really endearing. <sighs> but I think. We're gonna have to let him go. I think we're gonna have to give like a minute of silence for Zangief. Or a minute of whatever this is. That means our last duo is Blue versus Gumshoe. I. I actually don't know. I that is a hard pull. That is a that is too that is hitting me in my past, my present and my future. That is pretty much everything what this channel is about <laughs> at this point. Blue, he's got a voice of an angel. He's one of the most iconic Disney characters ever created. I love that I said I hate Disney on this list and Baloo has made it to the end. A character who wasn't even on the list to begin with. Against Dick Gumshoe. You all know I love Gumshoe. And I feel like maybe Blue has been less mentioned on this channel. No, no, he has. It's it's like I think I've mentioned Blue, Gumshoe, Makoto from Frey. Uh, Bear in the Big Blue House has got a lot of pull. He should probably be on this list at some point, but I just was lazy and forgot. Uh, I don't know. Oh, this is this isn't fair. This is not okay. This... How, 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 how do I quantify this? How do I make this fair on both characters? Um... Hmm. Hang on, I'm gonna take a hit and I'll be back. <laughs> um, no, I... I don't know. Like... They're both good. They're both excellent. They're both the best boys. Can I vote? As a as a as a proud polyamorous slut, if I could have both of those in the polycule, I think I would basically just be the happiest possible human. Um But I don't get that. Instead I get whatever is happening in my real life, which we're not gonna get into. <laughs> um Gummy gum show. It's gonna be Gumshoe. Congratulations, Gumshoe. Congratulations, Dick Gumshoe. You have made it to the Coffee Cakes premiere bear. We all knew he'd make it. We all knew at the beginning, at the semifinals, at the, the tryouts even, he would become the number one. And it was foolish of me to even make this list and pretend that he wasn't going to be. He is honestly the reason why this channel exists. Um, yeah, just congratulations, Gumshoe. I've got nothing else to say. I've got nothing else. He is my like canonical husband. Like if I was to say any character on this list, if I was to like 
actually do that like crazy thing where like people like marry a wall or like a stand-in of like a standy of a character or like a member of BTS. <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. It would be Gumshoe in my case, a hundred percent, because he's everything I want in a man. Um, if only he was real. Well, that went as well as could be expected, didn't it? Mm hmm. That was fun. I enjoyed that. Apologies if I came off as really mean <laughs> towards the person who made this list. Um, I've got my own brain demons. I've got uh, I've got way too many opinions about large men. Um, but you know that's why you all come to this channel. I think this may as well act as like a prologue to some of the newest videos I'm going to be making. Uh, the next video that I'm currently working on has nothing to do with this at all, but. Uh, after that, I'm probably going to lean more into Barra. I would like people to let me know what they want to see from the channel, because I don't really have any idea at this point. Um, I think I definitely want to lean more into Barra. I want to lean more into Bears. Um, I, my TikTok has been doing pretty well, and that's mostly because I am shirtless on it. Um, so again, you already saw that in this video. <laughs> But, yeah, don't let me know. Should I make an OnlyFans? Who cares? I've got nothing to let go at this point. I've got nothing at all. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, let me know. Let me know what you want to see. Um, I hope you enjoyed whatever this was. I hope you enjoyed me genuinely having a breakdown on camera. Um, but it was very fun. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably do more rankings. This was fun. I enjoyed this. Um, I don't know if it's going to become what the channel is about, but who cares. But yeah, um, have a good day. Um, I hope you too also appreciate the things that Kangaroo Tagami has done for us for me to be able to make this video. See you guys.